science is like a magic but it's real a real wonder and this wonder is everywhere right away from brewing a coffee or making a cup of tea the students have shown tremendous efforts for observing science around daily life let's buckle up our seats and watch what these curious observers bring to us Today I am sharing my observation on different types of leaves. We all come across different types of plants and trees. Leaves of all the plants and trees are mostly green. I was thinking that all the leaves are similar, but when I observed them carefully, I get to know that I was wrong. I am sharing my observation. For this, I have collected few leaves of different plants. It's a guava leaf. Its petiole is very small and it is pointed on the other end. It is a lemon leaf. Its petiole is very small and looking like a leaf. Its lamina is oval. Can you identify this leaf? This is a papaya leaf. Its petiole is very long and hollow. Its lamina looks like a flower. Its lamina is divided into many parts like a palm. This is a tulsi leaf. It is reddish green in color. Its leaf is very small and its petiole is also very small. It's an aloe vera leaf. We can see it is cylindrical and it is fleshy. It is filled with gel and it has no petiole. By doing this observation, I have learned that a leaf of specific plant has a specific size, shape and structure. On the basis of the leaf only, we can easily identify the plant or tree. I have done the observation to observe the see different seeds to grow to different same conditions in pot a i have taken ground nuts in pot b fenugreek seed in pot c ground in pot c ground seed after one week i have seen that in pot a and b it is proper growth but in c no growth is there that shows the condition of germination in pot C is not similar to fenugreek and groundnut. This is my topic on observation on iron nail. First iron nail I have kept in the airtight container so it did not get any rust. And second I have kept in the water so it get many rust. And third I have kept in the outer place so it get very less rust. This is happening because the moisture present in the air, it comes on the air iron nail so it get rust. Today I am here to explain my observation on topic gravitation force and friction. I have taken a ball, gearing and demo phone and a peacock feather. I will drop these things from my terrace. It is 15 feet in height. First, I am going to throw a ball. Now, I am going to throw a demo phone. Now, I am going to throw key. And now, I will throw peacock feather. I observed that ball reached to the ground in 1.46 seconds. And I observed that Demo phone reached to the ground in 1.30 milliseconds and key reached to the ground in 1.27 seconds and uh, peacock feather reached to the ground in 2.95 seconds. As we know that everything is equally equipped by gravity, they would have re reached to the ground at the same time, but it didn't happen due to the friction excited by the air. By this observation, I have learned that air also exerts friction and reduces the speed of motion. Today, I am going to explain my observation on effect of oil spills on water bodies. For this, I have taken a bowl full of water, considering this as water bodies and some animals, to consider this as aquatic animal and oil in a small bowl. 
first i will add oil in this container being lighter oil will float on surface and make a layer on the surface of water animal which comes to the surface for their respiration oil sticks into their body which creates difficulty for their survival the layer of oil blocks the passage of oxygen due to which oxygen level decreases aquatic life doesn't get oxygen properly which destroys the huge amount of aquatic life i have learned that the oil spills on water bodies stops the supply of oxygen which destroys huge amount of aquatic life today i am going to explain my observation on paper plane i have made three paper plane i have made first one with page of notebook and second one with newspaper page and third one of cover of notebook observation is that that the distance covered by plane depends on the thickness of paper So I am going to bring what I took in from the observation on changes in the iron nail cap differently in different conditions. During the observation, I observed that the iron nail behaved differently in different conditions. There were no changes shown when it was kept in the airtight container, but there were some changes shown when it was kept in the container with water. The conclusion from the observation I discovered that the water increases the rate of rusting in a iron. Today I will show you one experiment on the topic effect of oil spill on water bodies. Here you can see I have taken this container as the water body and I have taken these animals that symbolizes aquatic animals. So, for, uh, so now I will put some water. Now I will put some amount of oil into the water body. And mix it well. Here you can see this animal, uh, its body surface is coated with the uh, amount of oil present in the water. The layer of oil is coated on the body, sur body surface of the animals. Uh, due to this, the amount of oxygen present in the water and the air is blocked due to oil spill on the water. As it is very oily, uh, when the animal will came out for respiration, he requires uh, that he requires oxygen because the amount of oxygen is blocked due to oil spill on water bodies. Due to this oil spill, uh, and many animals and plants die due, uh, due to this reason. Here I am going to present science activity in front of. My topic is the first week of April and October climate observation. I observed that humidity level in October is higher and there is high temperature in October and in April there is high rainfall rate and there is no rainfall in October. I observed that in the starting of October there is high humidity level and high temperature and in starting of April there is high rainfall rate. show you why stars are not visible on the day come on hmm. we can look now we can see the star properly see one two three four five 
five, and six. Not stop. Oh, unlimited stars. Stop. No stop. Stop. Oh. Oh. I think you always understand why we can not why stars are not visible on the day. Stars are not visible on the day because so many sunlight is here. Night? No, no sun and no sunlight because stars are visible. By this observation, I have learned that the shadow totally depends on the direction of the rays. When the slanting rays fall on the object, the shadow is longer. When the slant straight rays fall on the object, the shadow is shorter. Today I am going to explain my observation related to shadow formation. For this, I have taken my water bottle is of 10 inch and a measuring tape. Uh, now I will measure the shadow, uh, the length of the shadow at a different time. 7.30 and the shadow is 31 inch. It is 10 o'clock and the shadow is 14 inch. 12 o'clock and the shadow is 10 inch. Observation: I have learned that the shadow depends on the direction of the uh, of the direction of the source of the light. If lighting light falls, the ob the shadow is longer, and uh, the light falls or directly on the object, uh, the shadow is shorter. I will share the my observation regarding growth of molds on bread. I have taken two slices of bread. The first slice was kept in the refrigerator and the second slice was placed in a plastic bag with some water sprinkled on it and sealed it with a tape and placed near my kitchen window undisturbed for seven days. After seven days, I observed that the bread kept in the refrigerator grew no molds because the uh, gold temperature prevented the growth as lower temperature is having less humidity but the the bread which was which was placed in a plastic bag grew molds because like like all organisms uh, molds also require water to stay alive present my observation. My observation name is obs to observe the germination and growth of the seed. So, I have taken three pots. Write at first pot, pot A, gram, pot B, ground nut and this is my pot C, T. After writing, fill it up with soil. After filling, soak the seed, this uh, grams and groundnut and pea. Soak it. After soaking, put it on the soil. Like this, I have put it. After putting, daily, at morning and evening, Give the water and after few 
days the root has come out this example ground nut seeds after coming the root the leaf has come out this is peeling this is my three pots revision today today i am going to show you the phases of moon as the moon circles the earth and the amount of light we see it changes these changes are known as phases of moon and it repeats in a certain way over and over come let's see new moon new moon is present only when the moon is not visible the occurrence of a solar eclipse is only possible at a new moon waxing crescent moon its size increases from one day to the next day this phase is usually visible only in the west water moon this phase of the moon is visible when only half of the moon portion of the moon is visible that is lit waxing gibbous moon occurs when more than half of the lit area of the moon is visible and the shape also increases full moon full moon is when the entire lit area of the moon is visible to us today i'm going to do a observation on paper plates i have made three paper plates first i have made up of notebook paper second i have made up of newspaper and third i have made up of drawing sheet now i am going to fly them I observed that first paper plane covered 5 meter distance, second covered 2.5 meter distance, and third covered 1 meter distance. By this observation, I learned that planes of thicker paper covers less distance. Planes of thinner paper covers more distance. Today, I am going to explain my observation on the topic gravitation, force, and friction. So, I am having one paper ball, one plastic box. and one plastic bottle so i am going to draw each of these substances from my terrace and my terrace is around 10 feet in height so i am going to draw each substances from the terrace and i'll note down the time taken by each of these substances to reach the ground so let's go there let's start with the paper ball and i'll start this stopwatch so here it goes So now I'll go with this plastic bottle. So here it goes. Done. So the last but not the least plastic box. Here it goes. So here I observed that the paper ball reached to the ground at seven seconds, the plastic bottle reached to the ground at five seconds, and the plastic box reached to the ground at two seconds. As we all know that everything is equally attracted by the gravity, they all would have reached to the ground at the same time, but it didn't happen actually, and this is because of the friction exerted by air. By this observation, I have learned that the air also exerts friction and reduces the speed of motion. Marvelous! I mean, that took all of us by surprise. What a sight, see! Thank you. Stay safe with science around you.